Alright, this is number four from uh, the Calc BC exam uh, from year 2009, Form B. Um, and let's see what we get. It's a it's a polar question. Um, the first thing uh, that you're asked to do is to figure out er area, rather. Um, and you have to remember that the area formula is one half the integral from a to b of r squared d theta. In this particular case, um, we have to understand how the area is traced out. So you can see that uh, if you know how to graph this, between zero uh, well, actually, it's, it begins graphing um, kind of at the that point in its inner loop. So that's where theta equals 0. Uh, now we need to figure out that other value. So that will be when r is 0, which gives us uh, 1 minus 2 cosine theta equals 0. And um, we're going to solve this. Hopefully you know your unit circle values. So theta is pi over 3. So um, we don't actually have to find the area. We just have to set up an integral for it. So that's theta equals pi over 3. So we are going to integrate, so 1 half the integral from 0 to pi over 3, of 1 minus 2 cosine theta, quantity squared, d theta. And that's part A. Um, notice that we didn't have to evaluate that integral. It's really unusual on the uh, more modern versions of the AP exam to have to actually evaluate those. Um, for the next part, we have to find dx d theta and dy d theta. To do that, we have to know that x is r cosine theta, and y is equal to r sine theta, where r is the function we were given. Um, so x is actually um, r, which is 1 minus 2 cosine theta, times cosine theta. And uh, it's going to be easier if we expand this, so I'm going to. Um, now I'm going to find dx d theta. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine of theta, and then the derivative of negative 2 cosine squared of theta is negative 4 cosine theta times the derivative of cosine theta, which is negative sine of theta. And then I'm going to simplify that a little bit. Um, mostly because I need to use these in the next part. Or, yeah, in the next part. Um, let's do the same sort of thing for y. So y is r and then sine of theta. And if we expand that, I'm going to show you two ways to do this one, actually. Um, so uh, we get the derivative of sine, uh, rather, sine times negative, sine minus 2 sine theta cosine theta. And now we need dy d theta. So the derivative of sine is cosine. And then negative 2 and then a product rule. So first, derivative of the second plus second times the derivative of the first. And if we expand this out a little bit, it doesn't really look much better. Um, but it's a little easier to work with. Um, so that's dy d theta. Um, now I'm going to show you another way to find dy d theta. Um, and it's based on simplifying um, what y is equal to before taking the derivative. Um, so we end up with this, and then at this point, that's at theta. Um, yeah, at this point, we can rewrite that as sine of theta minus sine of 2 theta. And then the derivative is much easier to take. Um, dy d theta is just cosine of theta, and then minus 2 cosine of 2 theta. Uh, which is a really nice form of the derivative because there's just less to plug into. All right, and then the next question is just about a tangent line. Um, to be able to find this, we need to know that dy dx, the slope of the tangent line, is dy d theta divided by uh, dx d theta. So if you don't know these things, you're kind of out of luck. Um, so I'm just going to copy over my derivative for dy d theta. I need to evaluate it at pi over 2. Um, cosine of pi over 2 I know is 0, and then cosine of pi is negative 1, so I'm going to end up with plus 2, and then that's obviously 2. I have to do the same sort of thing for dx d theta, so copy that from the previous part. I'm going to evaluate that at pi over 2, and I'm going to get negative 1. Now keep in mind, if you had gotten dy d theta or dx d theta wrong, you should continue doing the problem. Just use the values that you're getting. Make sure that you're um, demonstrating you understand what's going on. So I can combine dy d theta and dx d theta to get dy dx, and that's negative 2. Now I actually need to figure out the xy ordered pair. Uh, it's a little ambiguous what you need to show to get this, because you can definitely look at the graph and tell that the ordered pair when theta is pi over 2 is 0, 1. But anyway, if we plug in pi over 2 for r, we get 1. And we know that theta is pi over 2. So now we know the ordered pair is 0, 1. Um, and if you look at the graph, we get that. And then write the equation of a tangent line. And I'm going to put it in point-slope form, even though there's really no reason to do that. Um, 
So that's uh, problem number four, and it's a polar problem, so make sure you understand the basics, and you just do them, and I hope this is helpful. Good luck.